Alright, so look at this, an actual question on factorizing quadratic equations and I know a lot of y'all are so excited about me doing this because I, I can't tell you the number of messages I have in the inbox so do a quadratic equation, do a quadratic equation. Alright, so we're going to do some quadratic equations. 3y squared plus 2y minus 8. We're just factorizing in these questions. Question 2 is a question where you like to either factorize, simplify or solve and it's basic algebra. So they, they want you to factorize this quadratic equation. Most people hate quadratic equations because it tests all the tough part in mathematics, algebra, negative numbers, factorization, or graphs, all this stuff that you kind of um, hate in maths, and it all boils down into one thing. All right, let's get, let's get into the question. 3y squared plus 2y minus 8. So, right, so how do we factorize that? To factorize this, so let's start off here. And that's the question, you want to factorize that, right? Factorizing a quadratic, the first step you want to do is split the middle term into two terms. You may have heard that in class. I'm telling you it here again. So, to factorize this, you're splitting this 2i into two terms coming down here. Now, remember, when you factorize a quadratic, the answer is going to look like two brackets. Two brackets there, right? Um, so, you're going to get an answer that looks, that looks like this. And something is going to be written here, and something is going to be written here, right? Something there, add something there, something like that. So you're getting two, bra two brackets looking like that. that. So that's what we're aiming for. You're factorizing, factorizing, meaning we're getting the factors. Like if I ask you the factors of 12, factors of 12, 6 by 2, something like that. This is what we're doing for just a whole equation. Now I'm spending time on this because a lot of people get problems with this. So you need to watch this video over and over, and then... Um, Encourage yourself and watch it over again just to you know vibes good about this quadratic equations But I, I want to try and cover everything in it. So 3y squared plus 2y minus 8 is the quadratic equation It's a quadra quadratic equation because of this little 2 up here Once you square that variable boom quadratic equation. All right, so Once again, we want to split this middle term. So we're gonna get something like this 3y squared and two term, two things in the middle here that would add back up to give me 2y like maybe 1y and 1y, one it's, that's, it's not that but I'm just saying and add back up to give me that so I need to get two middle terms here so how do I get those two middle terms? so this is what they teach you in school a times c is equal to 3 times negative 8 equal to negative 24 so when you see that here uh, letters, where these numbers come from, alright all I'm telling you to do is these two numbers on the end here, you need to multiply them and get the product. That's the answer. So 3 times 8 is 24, but it's not really 3 times 8. This negative sign here belongs to this. This subtract sign belongs to this 8. So it's 3 times negative 8, which is negative 24. So you need to be comfortable with negative numbers here. And this is really A times C. Where does A and C come out from? Well, a quadratic equation is a quadratic equation because of the x squared. Sometimes there's an x, but it's really because of the x squared. And there's a number in front of the x squared, there's a number in front of the x, and there's a number by itself, like this. a x squared plus bx plus c. The a is the coefficient, meaning the number in front, that's just a big word for number in front, of x squared. The b is the coefficient of x, and the c, well, like the coefficient of himself. The c is just the coefficient of x to the power of 0. Or uh, the c is what we call the constant. It's by itself. Right? Alright, so a and c represents 3 and negative 8 because a is in front of x squared and c is there. So this is just like a general form. General form we can use. Alright? So if you're confused already, um, is a video so you can just pull back and take it in. All right, so we're going forward for those who are catching it on so far. So remember, we're trying to get two terms there. So we multiply the a by the c, and we got negative twenty-four. So we want to get list the factors of 20, negative twenty-four. When you now start this, you want to actually write it out. So three by negative eight is negative twenty-four. So we are going to list the factors of twenty-four. Now 24, for this, for this one, 24 is a lot of factors, right? 
1 by 24 is 24, 2 by 12 when you want to list it in pairs. 3 by 8, 24. 4 by 6, 24. Alright? So, but there's a little problem here. This is negative. To get a negative number, you remember this? To get a negative number, positive by a positive is a positive, negative by a negative is a positive, positive by a negative, negative, negative by a positive, negative. If you don't remember this, you can look back at one of my videos, I did it already, and take it in, and then come back, right? So, this means the factors we want here must be looking like this. One of the numbers must, must be negative. Negative 1 by 24 will give me negative 24. Negative 2 by 12 will give me, or it could be the other way. These numbers could be the negative numbers here. Alright, so. Alright, where, where are we going with this? These two numbers that work, one of these two numbers will work. One, one, one pair of these, these numbers here will work for splitting this. As the first step in factorizing. We still on the first step, right? Taking the time. First step in factorizing this is splitting this into two terms. And only a pair of these will work. So how do you figure out which one works? It, the numbers need to add back up to the middle term. What's the middle term? 2y or 2. The coefficient here is 2. Can negative 1 and 24 add back up to give me there? No. You'll go through this whole list and you'll realize the only two pair of numbers that the only two numbers that work are negative 4 and 6. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. So that's the numbers we're choosing. So people People who get good in quadratics will just watch this and figure it out, right? Watch this and figure out the two numbers. So that's the level of practice you need to get into this, get into this, get into this, get into this. And if you're not understanding it too well, don't get be frightened. Some things in maths you need to just keep um, throwing questions at yourself at it. Even though you, see, you feel like you understand 0% of what's going on, just follow the same procedures that you see I use. I'm using write it down. And try next question, write it down, try next question, and bit by bit your brain will begin to connect the dots. But you need to have faith in the process, right? Alright, so we found the factors of negative 24 and we realized that the two numbers that will work for splitting this middle term is 6 and negative 4. This is the next line. 6y, negative 4y. You split the middle term based on when we multiply the two outside terms, the two outside um, numbers, 3 and negative 8, negative 24. We got the factors and we realize that these two factors would to add back up. Why are we doing all of this? We're doing all of this so we can, when we reach down into this line, we can factorize easily. The next line is going to look like this. I am taking... Ignore this part right now, right? Ignore this part. I'm taking the 3y out because that's common in these two. So I'm just looking at these two terms. In all the quadratic equations, it, it, you, do the, you follow the same procedure. 3y squared plus 6y. Look at these first two terms. Pull out what's common. 3y because 3y is common here and here. The best thing to do is look at what's common in the numbers first and then look at the letters. So 3 is common. That's the highest common factor. And y is the highest common factor in the letters. 3y by y will give me back 3 squared. 3y by 2 will give me back 6y. So I'm taking my time on this. So um, when you get this, what do you do? Immediately take back this brackets and write it here. Right? We're going to do our next question, so pay attention. y plus 2. Take back this brackets, write it here. Now, just you just need to figure out what this number is going to be and this number is negative 4 I put negative 4 because negative 4 by y will give me negative 4 y. and negative 4 by plus 2 will give me negative 8 so the hardest part is actually getting these two numbers this is kind of straightforward if you understand factorization right getting the common terms of these first two and then carrying this across and figuring out what needs to go there and from here it's just Take do these two numbers that I highlighted with blue and put it in the same brackets. Just take one of these and put it in the next brackets. That's the answer. So this is the working that they will expect for two marks. 
this exact thing. All the fancy thing about finding six and four and thing, that's supposed to come in your mind on the side um, with practice, right? So, but I want you to write it out, write it out, write it out as you're now starting with this. Okay, let's try our next question. Before we try our next question, remember this. The sign belongs to the number after it. Pay attention to the signs. Most people lose their marks in quadratics when the negative signs start to hot up their head. So don't let that hot up your head. Alright, so if you need to watch it back over again, watch it back over again, we're going to try another question. June 2015, question 2, we are asked to factorize this equation. 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So we're going to actually work out this one together. 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Right, so we need, we need here to get the factors of 2 by 3. Remember the outside numbers, we are multiplying them. So that is e by c. 2 times 3 is 6. Right? Very good. So we need to get the factors of 6. Find the factors of 6. So the factors of 6 are very simple. Now, factors of 6 are this. 1 and 6 and 2 by 3. And remember we aim in to see what number could add back up to give me this. But you see that negative there. So this is why I included this as well. Negative 1 by negative 6 is also 6. Two negative numbers multiplied by each other give you a positive number. And negative 2 by negative 3 is also 6. So which two of these numbers are going to work to add back up to negative 5? Are you seeing it? The two numbers are going to be negative 2 and negative 3. So I'm going to use now Write back these two, 2x two squared plus 3. This term is splitting into two numbers now. And what are the two numbers that we got? Negative 2x, negative 3x. Notice I pay attention to my signs there. Eh? And I'm including back the variable, which is x. Sometimes the variable will be y or a or whatever the feel to, to put that exam on. Now all that's left for me to do is to factorize here. What is common in the numbers? 2. What is common in the letters? x squared and x for the highest. Common factor here is x. Because x can go into x squared and x can go into x. That's how we work with letters, right? Um, 2x by what will give me x squared? I'm just missing an x. And 2x by what will give me negative 2x? Negative 1. So now I'm going to put x minus 1. I've gotten this brackets. I see yes. This part is really quick. Eh? When you get good at this, you'll just be zoom and feeling good. Alright, so x minus 1. I'm coming here and putting this x minus 1 here one time. Because that's in this bracket. You immediately put it back here. Next up, I need to find what number can I do to multiply here to get back this. So just a quick recap. Why is you thinking about that? We split the middle term into two. That's all we did. These two came down. We split this into two. Where did we get these two numbers from? Well, the two on the outside that come down, we multiply them together. got six and we got the factors of six. And these were the two numbers that best worked out. Negative two and negative three will add back to give me negative five. Then I factorize here. Then I factorize here. And I cut this in the brackets and I put it back here one time. X minus one, X minus one, X minus one. So all I'm waiting on now is a number here. Um, that can multiply to give me negative 3x and what would give me pos positive 3 and I think you can see that's going to be negative 3 by that is negative 3x and negative 3 by negative 1 is positive 3 what's left take this number and take this number and group it together and just use one of these brackets and that's the answer alright so all that's left for you to do now is try a quadratic question I'm going to look for a quadratic question and where can I get one Alright, so here's a question for you to try January 2015. 2 part C. Factorize. Factorize x squared minus 5x plus 1. Now you notice there's no number in front of x squared here. That's the first thing you should notice when if you're practicing these questions, how I show you. So um what are you gonna do when 
when you have no number in front of the x squared you can think of this as one right so i uh, really don't want to write one here and just room out and looking right but you can come down and write one x squared minus five x plus four so you can have one by four when you start off your multiplication so use the same technique i showed you and see if you able to figure this out if you um if you do get very excited and do maybe about 40 or 50 more right so go in your textbook and find some quadratic questions and do a lot this is how you get, become good at this topic it's a lot of multiplication a lot of um factorization and tables and negative signs and you're making mistakes so you need to practice practice right so um till next time